Welcome, welcome. Whenever I go to press the button, I'm always afraid I'm going to press the wrong button because the mute button and the uh, off button, like the hang up button, are both red. So if I'm not thinking about it, sometimes I'll press the wrong one. So when that happens at the beginning of class, you know it's my fault. Anyway, so feet hip width apart and welcome to Armchair Based Yoga brought to you from Soup to Tomatoes. My name is Renee. I'm a registered nurse and personal trainer. And uh, I always am so happy to see you all. Welcome and thank you for practicing with me. So knees over ankles, toes pointing forward, shoulders back, chest out, big deep breaths. And that's where we begin every day, is to try to put the day away and get into the body, into the breath. Because we get a break from our thinking or our, our ruminations, if you will. So think about squeezing your muscles today because it's all about our muscles. Pressing into your, your feet, especially your big toes, and sitting as tall as possible. We're going to take a few deep breaths here. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. And we'll repeat. Big deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Really reaching towards the earth, pressing into the feet and thinking about how we're sitting, that we're as tall as possible, that our chin is tucked in. Let's take a few more deeper breaths just to put away any sense of judgment about ourselves, about others, any sense of competition. See, when you can't wait to get to the next move, that you're not really in the moment now. So that's kind of the point. So another deep breath. Good, let that go, good. And then we'll start to move. So we'll inhale and reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. It was like that for me too at first. I always like the movement better than the not moving. So let's follow through just a few more, inhaling up. But it's been good for me and my nervous system to learn to just not, not be in such a rush, right? So let's inhale up and notice your arms going through this movement. Feel your hands press together and reach and then exhale down. Good. And we'll do it again. Inhale, pressing into your feet, feeling your sit bones, feeling your hands, press them together. Many of us are quite disconnected to our bodies, so let's focus. Pressing into our feet, rising up, pressing the hands together, and then coming back. Good. Now I want you to notice if we do the opposite. So we're going to bring the hands up, press them together, go as high as you can, and exhale out. Then we're going to do the whole thing again. So we're going to begin inhaling up. That's it. Exhale down, and then inhale back up, reversing the process, exhale out. One more time, one more time, inhale, rise up, exhale, bring the hands together, roll the shoulders down back, feel those palms, good, inhale, rise. Exhale out. Very good, very good. So we're going to do a little bit of butterflies here. So we're going to open our chest, kind of moon arms, and then exhale, bring the elbows to the front, tilt your tailbones back. And then we repeat. We inhale, chest open. Exhale, pull the abdominals in, into our cocoon, if you will. Here, we're butterflies, chest open, shoulders back, exhale, cocoon. Good, two more, two more, big deep breaths, and then in, and then fantastic, and then hold here, moon arm, exhale, opposite, knee, elbow, 
Inhale. Exhale, opposite knee to elbow. They do not have to touch. The intention should be there. Inhale, starting to feel those arms come alive. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're just going to do one more on each side. One more. Feeling our muscles. That's the point. Inhaling tall. Exhaling over. Inhaling. And now we'll return to our mountain pose. Now you're happy to be here, yes? A few deep breaths. Relax the arms down. Reach towards the earth or smile. Fantastic. Two more deep breaths. That's how you know your face is relaxed if you're smiling. Good. One more deep breath. It's good for you to smile, you know. Frown wrinkles are not as nice as the smile wrinkles. Just so you know, it's true. <laughs> anyway, good job, good job. Inhale, reach up. Bring the hands to the heart center. Shoulders back, chest out. We're going to inhale on our, on our toes. Exhale, lift our heels up, or lift our toes up, sorry. Now press the feet down. Inhale, tall. Exhale, over to one side. Inhale, tall. Exhale over to the other side. Inhale tall. So exhale, heels up. Inhale, toes up. Press the feet in and take another deep breath. Exhale over to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale over to the other side. Inhale, center. Now one more time. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, toes up. Inhale, press down, get tall. Exhale, over to one side. Press the hands actively together. Inhale. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale. Very good. Release it down. We're going to do forward fold. From our mountain pose, we inhale up. We exhale and we swan dive down. We're going to give ourselves a few deep breaths here to really get comfortable. Relax your head fully. Wiggle the shoulders around. Find a deeper breath to relax even more into this pose. One more deep breath. Inhale up to a neutral spine. Exhale, deeper forward fold. Inhale, press back up or reverse swan dive up. Your choice. You can do the other if you like. You got it, and return to our mountain pose. Fantastic, good job, good job. All right, so we're gonna take the legs out wider and just work here for a moment. Again, working our shoulders, because they need a lot of work, right? So we're gonna open up the chest, reach the fingertips out, squeeze our shoulder blades down and back. Just get comfortable here, pressing into both feet, Good job. Then we inhale up and we exhale and squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale and reach. Exhale and squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. Good. Three more. Exhale. Two more. Very good. One more. Ooh, my nose is itchy, sorry. Big deep breath here. Exhale, elbow to one hip. Inhale, tall. Exhale, elbow to the other hip. Inhale, tall. And then twice more on each side. Exhale. Inhale, shoulders back, chest out. Exhale, inhale, and then one more time. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Oh, that's nice. Good. And then release the hands back down. That feels nice, eh? If we didn't keep our hands up so long, we'd never be able to enjoy what it feels like to put them down. Let's stretch one leg out, one knee stays bent, and this is our lead leg. So this is warrior two. Yes, 
Fantastic. Big deep breath here. Let's do the windmill today. So we're going to inhale and reach forward towards our lead leg. Exhale, bring our elbow down and open our chest. Inhale, reach up. You got it. Exhale, make a nice big windmill. Exhaling down, inhaling up. We can look at our hand if we want, or we can keep our gaze towards the floor and just focus on opening the chest and stretching the back. That's it. If you want it to be a little harder, you can reach down. One more windmill. Exhale. Inhale. Reach. And then take a deep breath and swing the arms back to come back to your tall position. Bring the other leg in. Good. And then we'll stretch the other one out. Reach the arms out. Take a deep breath. Reach forward. Good. Relax the elbow down here and reach up. Or if we want to make it harder, we reach down. We exhale around and then inhale up. Exhale around and inhale up. Now three more. Exhale around. Beautiful. Yes. Notice where you feel it. Two more. And then one more. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, return. And then we'll bring the legs back to a wide position, but hold it here. Hold it here. Good. Inhale, scoop up. Exhale, we're going to swan dive down. This is super good for our inner thighs. Then we do it again. Inhale, rise up. This is called sunflower. Exhale, swan dive down. Good job. One more time. Now, when we let our bodies relax inside the legs here, this becomes happy baby. So we want to stay down here, whether you're here or here. Bring the feet a little closer in so that they're on either side of your shoulders. And then wrap your arms around your legs. Relax your head fully. You can wiggle your head around. Take two more deep, deep breaths here. It's super important. Try to relax your body even closer to the earth. One more. Now come back up gently to a more neutral spine. Bring your hands to your thighs and press yourself back up. Perfect. Yeah. Then come back to a more neutral spine right here. From here, we're going to do the half series. So we're going to exhale, cat. This is a back stretch. Inhale. Shoulders back, hip forward, front stretch. Exhale, chest down, elbows tight, back stretch. Inhale, coming back up for a nice tall spine. Good. And we can repeat again. Exhale, cat. Inhale, sphinx. Exhale, crocodile. Inhale, up cobra, back to sphinx. And then one more time. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Fantastic. Now, from our tall position, we're going to walk it over to one side for our supported lunge or warrior one. Good. So here, we're going to step back. We're going to plant our knee over our ankle, press our heel back, and begin to feel here. Now, two things can happen. You could feel the, uh, the, the work that's going on in your lower back because it's going to be, um, if one side is stretching, the other side's contracting. And then we inhale and we reach up. We press the heel back. Take another deep breath here. And today we're doing reverse warrior. So we're inhaling up, exhaling the outside hand down, and we're reaching up. And then we do it again. Inhale up, exhale back, and up. 
Still rib cage forward, hip forward. One more time. Inhale up, exhale back and up. Good job. Inhale up, exhale, release the hands, release the leg. Now two options. You could grab your ankle and enjoy the deeper quad stretch. Or you could return to your warrior one and just focus here. Pressing the heel back and trying to feel it. Good. Two more deep breaths. Or here. Good job. And then release it. We come back to center. We do the half series again. So remembering we want knees over ankles, shoulders back. We begin in sphinx pose, squeezing our armpits, pressing our hip forward. Exhale into cat. Abs in, shoulders back. Inhale, sphinx. Exhale, chest down for a push-up. Inhale and press up. Very good. We'll do it again. Exhale, curl back. Inhale, chest out, shoulders back, elbows tight. Exhale, chest down. Beautiful. Inhale and press up. Good job. One more time. Exhale, pull the abdominals in. Inhale up, exhale down, elbows tight, feeling every part of it, and then inhaling up. Very good. So let's walk over to the other side of the chair, getting ready for our supported lunge or warrior one on the other side. So make sure the knee is over the ankle and that you're well supported in your position, right? This is nice. And then we inhale up. If we can tolerate it, if not, you can hold the chair, press the heel back, rib cage forward, hip forward. Good job. Take a deep breath and reach. Exhale the rear hand back as you reach up. And then do it again. Inhale. Exhale, reverse warrior. And again, inhale, press the hip forward, reach up. Exhale, uh, reach down and up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release the hands. Release the leg. And you can find yourself either grabbing the ankle for the quad stretch or returning to a more relaxed warrior just to enjoy this part of the stretch. You got it. Two more deep breaths. You don't have to grab the ankle. You're going to feel that same stretch in this position. Yeah, exactly. Exactly there. You got it. Yeah. Good. Yes, and it does contract back here. So you could feel the contraction back here because anytime we do a stretch, one side is tight while the other side is stretching. Think about it when we're doing this, okay? Side bends. So we rise up. Okay, so when I go over like this, exhale over, this side is contracting, this side is stretching. So I can't get away from that. It's just part of stretching. One side's going to squeeze, the other side's going to loosen. So let's do it on this side. And over. Good. So now let's try the side bend in a different way. Let's intertwine our fingers, press them out and up. Now let's try it. Exhale over, hold. Inhale up, exhale over. Good. And then up and then we'll release it. I got two more positions for you, okay? So press the hands together and we'll do hands pressed together. So rise up, press the hands together, shoulders back, chest out. Exhale over, Good. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up. And then we'll release the hands again. One more position. It's called the gun position. So you put your fingers like a gun, like pow pow. But the thumbs are overlapping. You inhale the arms up. Same. Try to squeeze the palms together. Exhale over to one side. So that's another way to do the same thing. Inhale up, exhale lower. Good. 
and then release. Fantastic. So those are the different hand positions for crescent moon. Um, in case, you know, you ever wanted to explore different crescent moons on your own. So let's do hamstring stretch because it's really important. So flexed foot. We're going to do a hamstring stretch with a twist today. So we want to keep our foot flexed. Shoulders back, chest out, chin in. Press the chest forward. Notice when you begin to feel the stretch. And begin to stop there. Tuck the chin in. Take a deep breath. Press the chest forward. Tuck the chin in. Deep breath. Press the chest forward. Now release the hands down. Release the head down. Big deep breath. Now take opposite hand to the outside of the leg and look in that direction. Two more deep breaths. This is the twist part. Good. Now come back to a more neutral spine and gently walk yourself up. Very good. And then we do the other side. Flex foot. Shoulders back, chest out, press the chest forward. Feel the hamstring. Take a deep breath. Press the chest a little more forward. Tuck the chin in. Press the chest a little more forward. Then release the hands and the head down. Take a deep breath and walk the hands out. Another one. Now take opposite hand to the outside of the leg and look in that direction. Notice the change in the stretch as you press towards the leg. One more deep breath. Fantastic. And then we walked it up. So we already did uh, the hamstrings. We did uh, a little bit of chest already with those moon arms. We haven't done any hips. Okay, so I want to stretch the hips. So we're going to go, and if we can, we're going to lift the leg up. You don't have to, but if you can, bring it in. That stretches the glute. Okay, you got it. Fantastic. And then from here, we're going to let it down. Now, two options, okay? Because I know some people, they have knee issues. And then when they go to try to do that kind of bend, you can have some strange feelings in the knee. So we're going to start with just a very simple flamingo. So the leg you just brought in, you're going to inhale it up and then just see where your body will go and hold it. And then exhale it down. Now let's do that twice more. Inhale, drag it up only as far as you can comfortably go. Yes. And then back down. One more. It's for our hips, okay? It's our way to get to something deeper and bigger. So this is like the beginning. Good. And release. And you should have felt that right deep in there or in the inner thigh. All right, other side. We begin by bringing the leg in, hugging it close. Perhaps you feel one more than the other. So that just tells you one side's a little tighter. Yeah, very good. Fantastic. And then you place the leg back down. It helps if you start legs together. And then you sit nice and tall and drag the one leg up the inside of the other one and stay there and feel it. And then release it. Let's do it again twice more. It's really important that we feel where it's coming from. So go in, feel it. You can go right into figure four if that's more comfortable, you know. Because that's what we're getting to. All right, one more. Up. Open. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, like that. And then release. So that's what we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to this, but not everybody is there today. So this is a way to work your way up to there or just have something to do that's similar. Good, good. So shoulders are next. Shoulders are next. We're reaching out and bringing it across, Woo. pulling it in. That's good, isn't it? Shoulders back, chest out, one more deep breath. This is the basic shoulder, yeah, you got it. You just wanna pull that straight arm into your body. That's it, that's what you're trying to do. 
Yeah, you got it. If you feel it here, you got it. Let's do the other side. So start with the straight arm. Bring the arm across the chest. To assist in the stretch, we pull that arm into our chest. There you go. Now pull that arm into your chest. There. Then you feel it, right? If you feel it in the shoulder, you got it. Because that's what we're trying to do. Good. Okay, one more stretch. We're going to roll our shoulders down and back. We're going to take our ear to one side. Good. And then gently down towards the chest. And then over to the other side gently. Shoulder blades down and back. And then come back up. So this time you're going to start where you ended. So you're going to go where you ended. Go back down. Go over to the other side. Shoulders down. And then back up. Very good. Uh, neck stretches, you should be gentle, but they're super important. How many people do you know that can't turn their necks? They have to turn their whole bodies. Now, that when you drive, that becomes dangerous. So you want to be able to really turn your head without, you know, moving your whole body. So just think about that and practice the stretches gently. So shoulders back, chest out. Let's take a few deep breaths. And last time we missed out on our meditation because it cut out early. So we can really appreciate this time, yes? Fantastic. So we close our eyes and we just sit and enjoy closing our eyes and sitting. We take a few deep breaths. And really hear your breath today. Listen to it. What does it sound like? Are you breathing through your nose or your mouth? Try to breathe through your nose. Are we breathing nice, full, deep breaths? If not, let's make them nice, full, deep breaths. And let's tell ourselves that with each full, deep breath we take, we begin to relax our bodies. We begin to let go of anything that doesn't serve us. We begin to feel peaceful. So as we breathe here, Let's imagine that there's peace all around us. And that as we press into the floor right now, we're kind of tapping into that peace, tapping into a sense of relaxation, feeling our feet fully relaxing and our legs resting. Let's notice our torso and our arms resting, feeling light, feeling peaceful. Let's notice our face, our necks, our minds, our shoulders, feeling relaxed, letting go, feeling peaceful. And let's set the intention that today We're going to try to find a little bit of happiness in everything. A little bit of smile. A little bit of goodness. So let's breathe that in. Let everything else go. Let 
one more deep breath. And then we'll begin to feel ourselves returning to this space, perhaps feeling smiley and happy and peaceful in our legs, in our faces, in our torso and arms, all over. So thank you so much. What a great job you did today. I don't, I make those moves pretty challenging. So great job. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. And thank you so much. Remember to smile, even at the grumpiest person, because it's just as contagious as the grumpy stuff. So have a great day. I'll see you on Friday, all right? Thank you so much.